Welcome into Tech Time. In the news, you've heard a lot about the coronavirus spreading, people dying from it. Francie's got some things that may be able to help us track this and yeah. see what's happening. Yeah, so obviously there's lots of news, and so this is a great brand new app that just came out. It's a mobile app, meaning web, excuse me, I should say web-based app. You don't need to download it, but it allows you to visualize both the spread, the deaths, and as well as the recoveries of it. Okay. So let's take a look at it. But I've got it up here on the screen, and it's coronavirus.app. Okay, so nothing needed to download. And you get this visualization of where, how this is spreading. And uh, where the larger dots are, are more infections, okay? Smaller dots are fewer infections within the cities. And then you can tap over here on the right-hand side and see those, the numbers that have deceased and where those are located. And of course, all of those circles that we just showed you are China, in fact, where this outbreak began. Yes, exactly, yeah. You can see that heavy concentration there. Mm -hmm. And then the recoveries as well are also happening in that area, okay. which is great news. Now, one of the features that I wanted to show you on this app, this is actually a brand new feature that's going to be rolling out. We're looking at a beta of this particular feature, but watch how this is spread. This is actually pretty alarming. So this is February 5th, and if I scroll this little meter down, you can see where it had started, and then the spread, which is just in just over a month, is yeah. quite drastic. Okay. Some other things that you can do here are you can see if you like charts, you can see the crazy numbers from January 25th is 941 cases up until today, 24,000 yeah. cases. It's just crazy. And then you can see here where the United States ranks as compared to other countries in terms of number of infections, confirmed cases, and we're about, I think it's number 10, and we have 11 confirmed cases. And there's some more information as well that you can see in terms of deaths and recoveries. Now, really important thing, because this is such a hot topic and there's lots of information flying on this, there's also some malware opportunities that um, messages that are coming into your inbox that might have a downloadable file, say find out the latest information on the uh, coronavirus, don't download those. Those are great opportunities for bad actors to infect your systems gather private personal information, so stay away from those. Go to places like this, coronavirus.app, where it doesn't require you to download anything, but yeah, you can track it, get that visualization, and see where it's happening. Okay. And, yep, and I've got all this information. I've got the links to that at ipadwisdom.com on my blog. Again, that's ipadwisdom.com. And you can always get that information under the Tech Time segment of WLOS's website. Thanks so much, Francie. Thank you. And that's it for today's Tech Time.